Hello and welcome to another pen video from Penultimate Dave. So today I decided I'd, I'd show you some uh, pens in my collection that uh, um, have come from Brian Gray at uh, the Edison Pen Company. And uh, these pens, the, the first three here are um, Edison Collier pens and this one is the Perlette which is actually a lot smaller. So the first pen here, you see here, this is actually called the Persimmon Swirl. And it's, it's a, a very orangey pen. And if I zoom in a little, you'll be able to see here the varying shades of oranges and blacks that you get here. Um, and then the chatoyants there, the bright areas of the orange that that's just start to sparkle a little bit under, under light when you rotate the pen. And then you can see there, just around the cap. Uh, clip there and as you rotate here you can on the body you can see it a little bit more so this is the Edison Pen Company Collier and this is actually an oversized pen and this is one reason why I like this um, and this actually comes I, I've put a broad nib on this one I uh, more recently I have had a, uh, a 1.5 millimeter stub um, but uh, th these are steel nibs, uh, two-tone nibs, and this one does have tipping on it. Um, I'll show you one that does not. There you go. That's one of the 1.5 stubs, and, and you can see there is no tipping there. So this is more of an italic nib. Just see some of the ink there pooling on on the feed, but again, it, it's a two-tone steel nib. And this uh, this pen here again is a Collier, but this one is actually uh, called the Antique Marble, and I always think of this as more like a tiger's eye. The way that the light catches, it's almost like a like a tiger, either a tiger eye or Maybe a tiger coat. Um, it's just the the almost like the black and orange like type marble. Like you can see here the chatoyance there. If I zoom in a little, where the light catches it. Look at the the varying colours that you get here on the body. And you can actually just about like the 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 pen body there is slightly translucent, so you can see the converter inside. So these all come with a standard uh, converter, international converter. You just see the the material there; it's just so stunning. So uh, I I first added the um, persimmon swirl collier into my collection. I found that the the size and the weight was just perfect for me, and it wasn't that expensive to to swap out the nibs and, and get another nib in there. So I I decided um, a few months ago to, to just go and buy a couple more of these colliers because I like them so much. The size, the shape, the weight is just perfect. And then we have also, uh, this one is called the uh, Blue Steel version. So again, lots of chatoyants there. You can see, so there are dark areas, and then it goes into light areas. But then you can just see as you rotate it, sort of how that light catches it. It's quite mesmerizing actually so again this is the collier so this is the third collier that I have in my collection and again this one actually if I unscrew that that again has a, a 1.5 millimeter stub you can see there's no tipping on that nib so it is a, an a, italic nib uh, and then I'll just show you the um, just to show you uh, this one's empty at the moment, but it's just a standard international converter. So, uh, so nice and easy to to fill and to clean these pens. But uh, because these are made of acrylic, they're very lightweight. And I'll I'll show you the the, the weight uh, in, in a moment. And then we have um, basically the Perlette, and and this is another really nice pen from from Edison Pen Company. It, it's a, a very small pen, but uh, 
the perlite comes in a number of colours, and this is uh, what they call uh, lapis blue. And it's very much like a blue cracked ice effect. And you can just see as you rotate it there, again, you get the light reflecting off of those varying depths of cracked ice. And it just reflects. And you can see a little bit more there in the body. And you also get a little bit sort of like green going on there as well. Green and grey. and But as you can see there, it's the perlet. Uh, now this one, because it's a much smaller pen, this actually has a number 5 nib on it. I'm trying to zoom in instead of a number 6 nib. Uh, that one I've got with a medium nib. Uh, and that does have tipping on it. Uh, and you can swap out these nibs very easily. Um, you can buy uh, the whole nib replacement unit for these. And uh, again, if I show you this, again, it, it's a cartridge converter pen. And I'll show you just how easy it is. So if you want to take the nib out, so there's no ink in here. So the first first thing you do is take off the cartridge converter and then literally you just unscrew the nib. And there it is. So you've got the whole nib unit there, the, the nib collar, and then you just screw it back into place. So it's very easy to actually swap the nibs out on, on these Edison pens. And then I'll show you, I think one of these may not be inked. Let's have a look. Yeah. So I'll, sh I'll show you on this one as well. So I'll take the converter off. Again, just to show you how easy it is. So we have the nib here. Just grip it, twist. You really do not need to apply any kind of force. And then the whole nib basically comes out. With a little bit of blue ink there from the feed and I just literally just screw it back up so a little bit of ink come off the feed and the nib probably need to do a little bit better job cleaning that <laughs> but uh, it's just very very easy to swap these nibs and this is one thing that I really like about the Edison pens yeah, you can see a little bit of the blue there coming out of the breather hole but uh, with the Edison pens, it's just so easy just to change them over. And the nibs, if you want a steel nib, it's really not that expensive. Uh, I think in the UK, it runs you about £20 for a replacement steel nib. The gold nibs are, I think, over £100. Um, but uh, it, it's relatively uh, inexpensive to, to be able to swap the nibs out. So it's well worth doing if, if you want to experiment with nibs. Um, a lot of people do that. Um, and likewise, you can get custom grinds as well. Um, so, so you could get two or three of the same nibs, but maybe turn one into a cursive italic or crisp italic um, and, and just really do what you want with it. So um, uh, Brian Gray actually makes some really, really good pens uh, uh, with his uh, wife as well. And um, uh, I really do like them. They're polished, as you can see, to a very high level of standard. Um, the only thing that I would say is that the, and, and this has been a complaint sometimes from people online, is that the the caps do smell a bit of burnt, like a burnt acrylic. If, if you try to smell inside the cap, um, it, it will dissipate after probably a year or so, but it's just something to bear in mind if you really don't like strong smells. You won't normally smell it from the pen itself, but when you uncap the pen, sometimes you can get just a little bit of a whiff coming from the cap. So that's just something to bear in mind. And same with the body, if you unscrew the body as well. Um, it doesn't bother me. It actually takes me back to, to my school days when we used to work with um, uh, turning acrylic and cutting acrylic. It's, it's that kind of burning acrylic smell. Um, so it's just something to bear in mind. But uh, the, these pens from Edison are really great pens. Um, they, they range, in the UK, they're, I think they ran about 130 to £150. Um, you can get 
lots of different models, different shapes from Edison. Uh, you can buy the signature line direct from, from Edison Pen Company. Uh, you can get, um, Goulet have some exclusives that they do the uh, Nouveau, Nouveau Premier. Um, and, and you can get those and they'll have a slightly sort of pointed cap and, and, and sort of body fin finial there. But uh, uh, personally, I prefer the Colliers more. I like the size that they are an oversized pen. Um, very well made. Um, the quality is good. The, the nibs are good. Uh, all of the nibs actually come fine-tuned uh, out of the shop by Brian Gray himself. I think he might be training somebody up now to, to help with some of that nib work. But they do test the nibs before they send them out. Um, just to make sure from a consistency perspective they write somewhat wet but not too wet uh, and they have uh, like a small amount of feedback but not a, a massive amount of feedback and uh, you're not going to get any scratchy nibs so uh, there you have it uh, I just wanted to show you the Edison's I have in my collection so please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video bye bye